Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install or replace a AFCP uh, breaker, otherwise known as a uh, arc fault uh, circuit protector. They're real important, mainly for bedrooms, and a lot of towns and cities, uh, they are code to be installed, um, mainly newer construction. Uh, but either way, I tell you, it's a great safety thing to have, especially if you have little kids in, uh, for be in bedrooms and such. You know, you take a quick look at one of these, and you're like, whoa, this is intimidating stuff. I mean, over, over than a regular circuit breaker, see, grab, is this a regular circuit breaker? Um, I mean, you got one connection, uh, basically, for a wire, uh, and you look at one of these, whoa, got this pigtail wire coming out, you got some other connections in here, you got a button, some lights on it, so it can be really intimidating. So, I'm gonna show you a real simple, easy way to do it. Uh, you know, so let's get going here. First thing you want to do, of course, is to know what circuit breaker you're going to be replacing. Well, that's going to be up to you. I can't help you with that just yet. In this case, we're going to be removing this bottom breaker here. Again, slide it right out like any other breaker. So you're normally going to pull from this, the center out like that. And there's our hot wire. Now, let's disconnect this. And again, you, know, you want to make sure your panel is off, your main, your main breaker is off, or no power to your panel. Okay, now check this out. This is where things get a little, a little complicated. This is your hot wire. This is the wire that was connected to the breaker we just pulled out, okay? But now, we're, we're protecting the whole circuit, and that's the whole great thing about one of these art fault protectors, okay? So wherever, I mean, your panel, I would hope, is gonna have a lot more wires than, than this one. This one I just set up to show you. Okay, follow your, your, your load wire, your hot wire, load wire, whatever you wanna call it. Follow that down to where the, where the wire enters the panel. And you're gonna find another wire right next to it. And that's gonna be a white wire. Well, that's your neutral wire, okay? And you're also, you're gonna have a ground wire. Now, depending upon how old your house is and so forth, you will find a ground wire. That's great, you don't need to touch that, okay? So just leave that alone. However, your white wire, which is your neutral wire, you're gonna follow that wire and you're gonna see it's gonna be going all the way down all the way over to your neutral bar with a whole bunch of other neutrals and grounds and stuff. You wanna find that wire and then disconnect that wire from your neutral bar, just like that, okay? Now remember where, the, where you disconnected that from because you're, you're gonna be using that shortly. So here's your whole circuit. It's going, say, to your, your outlet up in your bedroom and in this case, it's going to this outlet over here. Now, let's get back to this crazy thing. Okay, complicated, right? Well, you remember where you pulled this neutral wire off? Wow, check it out. That's where this one's going to. That pig a pigtail there, you're gonna bring that right to your neutral bar. So, uh, okay, and then your neutral wire that's going to your circuit, going to those bedrooms. Now, definitely wanna look at whatever instructions you got with it, because you know, they're not all the same. They, they could look differently, they all work the same, but they're gonna look differently. In this case, we're going to this connection right up here. But it's actually above this pigtail. And if you read your instructions, it will say to the neutral, the neutral of the circuit, okay? Now we'll tighten that up. You wanna tighten that up good. Now, for whatever reason, I like putting my wires into the breakers when they're not connected to the panel. Just, I, I can really see what's going on, but that, that's just me. Okay, your hot wire. Now, you know, the same wire we pulled off the old breaker, well, we're gonna in install it back on to this breaker. Again, I already know that this is, this terminal here is where our hot lead goes. Now I'm gonna tighten that up while I'm holding that in. Tighten that up. Again, when you tighten these, now, basically this breaker, it's plastic. And they're built pretty good, but if you start tightening that screw way too much, well, you have a good chance of breaking that. So tight, snug, without breaking it. Okay, now we're connected. No power yet. You got your neutral going. You have your load wire. So anything that comes out of a breaker is a load, right? Okay, let's get this neutral, this pigtail wire, and we're gonna connect this to the same spot on the neutral bar that you pulled that and this neutral, this white wire, 
off of. So I'm going to go and connect it back in here. Again, tight, but nothing crazy. Okay, all like that. Now we're going to go and connect it back into the panel. Now, if you have never replaced a breaker before, they're going to hook in. Again, not every one of them is are the same. You're going to hook it in and then push in and you feel it. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and turn the power back onto this panel. Make sure our wires look all nice and neat. <coughs> breaker is off. Turn the breaker on. On this particular breaker, a little indicator light is going to come on for a little while and it's going to go back off. Again, yours can be very different, so don't really go judge on what on this breaker with the lights and so forth. But at, at all these breakers, what you're going to have, you're going to have a little test button. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the, main pa the power is back onto my panel, and I turn, the, I turn the breaker on to that circuit. Now, if something is wrong, basically that breaker is going to trip, boom, pretty, pretty damn quick, especially one of these. So it's on, it's been on for a while, everything's good, don't hear any humming, nothing crazy. Okay, you have this, on this case, and again, on our breaker, we have a little blue button. Now, when we press this button, you just gotta press it in once. It, basically what it's saying, if, you, if this thing trips, if the breaker trips when I press this button, then this circuit is connected and working good the way it's supposed to be. So let's see what happens. And there you go. And it tripped off. Make sure that turn it all the way back off because when you when a breaker trips, it's only going to trip in the middle. It's not going to go completely off. Turn it back on. And we start that whole procedure over again. And now our outlet here, I only have the one outlet connected. Now this outlet is now protected by an art fault circuit protector. Now you can go with the uh, tester and make sure you got your power and all that, which is always a good thing. But that's basically how it's done. Just remember, read those instructions. And, you know, I mean, I know a lot of us, we don't like to read the instructions. But when it comes to one of these, you have to. You really do. All right? But that's it. An arc fault circuit protector done. And, that, and I'll tell you, they're really a good thing. Anyway, I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to teach you something. I'm Dominic from XBDIY.com. Thanks for watching.